If you're selling designs on print on demand, it can be a little intimidating at times because you see sellers that have thousands of designs. I happen to have a lot of designs as well on Redbubble. This is just a random store here that I picked. And I sometimes get comments on the YouTube channel like, there's no way your designs could be high quality if you've got that many designs. Well, here's just an example, a random store that I picked where they, this person's got a lot of really high quality designs. Now they're simple, but they are high quality. They're properly formatted. I'm going to show you in this video how you can dramatically increase your output so that you can play with the big boys like this on Redbubble, Public, Merch by Amazon, and so on. Join me as we speed things up. Okay, I don't normally do print on demand tutorials on the Crafty Stacks channel. Normally I do it on my other channels and water cooler, but this is a deep dive artist tips and tricks video. This is a concept video, so it just happens to apply to print on demand or whatever it is you're making if you want to make more designs quickly. So don't get hung up on Redbubble, don't get hung up on the software I'm using. This is a concepts video. So here I'm on Redbubble, which is a print on demand service. You can buy t-shirts, coffee mugs, that kind of thing. And I'm just gonna scroll through here. I'm searching for camping and there's 313,000 results. Let's take a look at this one here. Life is a beautiful adventure. Grab your backpack and go outside. I'm gonna click on this design, great looking design. I'm actually gonna go into the store now and I'm just gonna see they've got 309 designs and you'll notice they're all different. And again, I'm, I'm picking this completely at random. This is a circular design, this is a t-shirt, this is a circle, this is a thing. But you'll notice there's a bunch here that are the same. Naps, cosmetology, trucks, tractors, lacrosse. This is a template. What this person is using is a template. They're simply putting in new text and they are uploading a new design. This is one of the ways you get really big output and you can have hundreds and hundreds of designs and you can upload 10, 20, 30 in one day with really no problem. Now this is a very simple template and I'm gonna show you a tip here on how you can make much more complicated templates. So that's what I'm gonna do now, okay? For this video, I'm using Photoshop. And now I don't want you to get hung up on it because I always get comments. People go, oh my goodness, your Photoshop is so old. This is not a technical tutorial about Photoshop. You could use Inkscape. You could use Photopea. You could use Canva. You could use any software that you want, okay? I'm just using Photoshop because it's easy and quick for me. But if you use Inkscape, Go nuts, use Inkscape, that's fine too. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just gonna type in file new and I'm gonna go in now and I'm gonna pick off of my presets, I've got a bunch of presets here and I'm gonna pick Merch by Amazon. This is 4,500 pixels wide by 5,400 pixels tall and it's 300 pixels per inch. What I would recommend you do is if you're using this as a template and I've just got it white as a background so it's easier to see in this tutorial, but normally I would use like a transparent background, it would look like that. Anyway, my point is you would just use the same design template every time. So if you wanted to type in text, for example, let's say I type in, um, you know, help um, a jerk. Okay. So again, just a funny text design. That's it. Okay. I'm just going to center it. Just going to make sure it's kind of like stuck in the middle here. I'll just center it. There it is. Now my point is you would save this as a Photoshop file and then the next time you want to go in and create a new file, you would have this already set up. You'd be rewriting the file, so to speak, because when you go into something like a Redbubble, you're going to set up 55 or 60 different products and then you can upload the same design template into Redbubble or TeePublic or Merch by Amazon, and it's all gonna look relatively the same. Now this is an extremely simple template, so I've got a much more uh, complicated example here that I wanna show you. So I'm gonna just close this out. Okay, so here's my template that I just made today as an example of what you can use. So I've got groups of layers on the right hand side here in my layers panel and i'm just and i've got for example backgrounds i've got a black background a white background a green background and a blue background under outlines i've got and bear with me on what an outline is let's say i've got a, a, a yellow let's say i use pink okay so i've got a pink outline white black let's say i want to go with a black outline then i've got big circles 
Now I can do a white circle. See the little line that goes around it? You could also have small circle and that would be inside. So you could build in the template. You could also have green instead, green and black. Maybe I want my outline to be red. Maybe I want my outline to be yellow. And I want my internal circle to be blue. I don't have to recreate this every time. That's my point. So I, this is how I start virtually every circular design that I create for Redbubble, TeePublic, Merch, Amazon, whatever it is. Then I've got dividers. So I'm going to open up that group here. I've got leaf dividers. I can just pop it open. I don't need to go hunting on my computer for it. It's sitting right here. I've got what I call wedding dividers. So I can just take this wedding divider and I can, you know, um, I'll just highlight the layer here. I could take this wedding divider and I could maybe put it there and I'll delete out this portion. So I'm just going to rasterize the layer here real quick. I'll move this down and I can move it down here. So now I've got a top and a bottom and now I can put my text in. I can make my text black and I can type in, you know, happy birthday or something like that. So my point is it took me 10 seconds to get my template. Now I can make this smaller, but I can also keep text in as my template. So if I really like this font, for example, I can just have this font sitting as a group outside of my outside of this I can move it up to the top and then I can group the layer so I go layer group layers and I could call this uh, text uh, you know vintage text okay so now I could save this as a template and now every time I build something I've got this now I can just pop these open I know that I know what it is now I could also um, duplicate this layer so this is now birthday, but I'm going to call it birthday white. Whatever the color is, I leave it at the end because that's the one I'm changing. I hate going back and changing at the beginning because it's too much work. I'm kind of lazy that way. So now I'm just going to highlight this text. I'm going to make it white. And now my birthday white or my birthday, which I'm going to call this one black. Same thing here with happy. I can duplicate the layer. I can make this happy now white. So now I've got an option. I'm just going to call this one white. See, and I, sometimes I get lazy and I don't name the layers. And then what happens is I struggle to find, because I might have like 200 layers in, in a file, right? And so if that's the case, it can be really difficult. So I'm going to group my two whites together. Happy birthday, that's white. Happy birthday, that's black. I've also got utilities as well. I've got a horseshoe that I can use. I've got coffee mug. I've got an anchor. I'll get rid of the birthday text here so you can see it a bit better. I've got a red crayon heart, bubble gum, sp ink splatter, empty, empty. I call it empty star because the inside of it is just empty. And then I've also got a black star so I can move these around. The, my point is I'm saving a ton of time because I just open up my template, my master template, and I don't need to be hunting on a computer for these files. I'll go back up here to... Uh, the dividers here. I've got Santa divider. I just call it, again, I'm just calling it things at random that may mean something to me. I use this mostly for Christmas designs. There's an arrow divider. There's a checkerboard divider. So I'm just, I just pulled these kind of at random. This, this whole template took me maybe 20 minutes to set up and they're groups along the, the, uh, the layers here. And then I can just basically uncheck everything and I can create a design from scratch. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful. This is just a quick walkthrough saying that you can actually legitimately speed up your process and you can do it in such a way that it's very, very quick. So here I'm going to do birthday white, birthday there, there it is. That's a design. Okay, I would upload that to Redbubble, for example. That's a design. 
I would upload it to Redbubble. Maybe I would stick a, um, you know, a, a birthday cake design. And then I would save it though. This is the key, is if you import an image, you put it in the folder with the other images. So your template grows over time as you build stuff. So I know, for example, if I ever knew, do a coffee design, I've got a coffee icon sitting right there that I can use. So there you go. Now I've got my coffee mug here. So I know that some people love watching YouTube videos and they'll say, well, that's a really crappy design and it's not very high quality. It's the concept that I'm trying to get through here is if you want to do circular designs, make a template. If you want to do square designs, make a template. Triangular designs, make a template. If you want to constantly change around your backgrounds, you can just create templates and just flip on and off the layers and you can keep everything organized by moving them into groups. So here I've got background group, outline, big circles, dividers. And then if you want to just flip in a new design, even if you wanted to change where it's located, that's fine. You can move it around, but you don't have to constantly re-import stuff and have massive file folders sitting on your computer or be hunting online. I've got my anchor sitting in here so I can make a whole bunch of sailing designs and I can make variants very, very quickly. So I hope you guys found that helpful. The key to this is that you're using a template with the same dimensions. And then when you upload to Redbubble, TeePublic, they all look similar in a store, which is great. And if you're using Redbubble specifically, you can copy the settings and that really helps speed up your upload process. Hope you guys found that helpful, guys. Take care.